It, to me, it's more about being remote up there than it is about uh, harsh Arctic conditions. Everyone thinks about ice and striking ice and that sort of thing. It's more about the fact that you're really remote from any kind of help, and so you have to be very, very self-sufficient. It's January in 2017. It's a bright day, but it's a little, little cold here. It's getting under, under freezing today. We're in uh, Goodison Shipyard in uh, North Kingston, Rhode Island, and uh, they're about to relaunch uh, our school sailing vessel, the tall ship Oliver Hazard Perry. She's uh, a relatively new vessel that she's just coming to dry dock to uh, uh, have some improvements and, uh, and repairs done. This straddle lift, for want of a better term, um, picks it up very evenly and, uh, and then it can literally do a 90 degree turn in one place. It doesn't have to do a, a six point turn. But it's a 550 ton ship in a 820 ton travel lift, so it's, it's, this is a very easy lift. We previously had a Coast Guard certificate of inspection that uh, said we could operate in what they call partially protected waters. That's 20 miles from a, a safe haven. And the new certificate of inspection says we can go in exposed waters, which is essentially anywhere in the world. And we'll just make sure that uh, nothing's leaking, check all the bilges and we'll sit there for the night and then when the wind changes tomorrow morning we'll shift over and be alongside on the dock here. But just uh, very slow, careful checks all day today. I love doing what I'm doing. Um, it has all the yummy bits. I get to drive a big machine, uh, which is always, I was always a little boy that wanted to drive the train. I'm gonna drive the ship 100 yards tomorrow into the dry dock and I can't wait to do it. Uh, it's always a challenge. Um, you know, this first season we've had, it's gone pretty faultlessly and we've not had any, any screw ups. That's because myself and the crew have been fortunate to plan it well and then conditions have been very predictable as we've done it. The reason I'm on a training ship is I like mentoring a crew and I have a crew of very eclectic, different people who, for them, Amassing money and wealth in the world isn't what their journey is about at the moment. And what they learn, they pass on to the school kids and the students that we have on board and arrive as children and leave as young adults. It's very satisfying, so it's, uh, it's very good in that regard.